while Interswitch is you know, trying to get into telecoms, this other company is trying to get into China. And that company is Lemfi. Right. Um, Lemfi is working on the expansion into China. And I think that is really interesting. Um, but I think one very interesting question I have about Lemfi's move to China is um, um, what's how big because Lemfi is into remittance, right? So, what's the size of the Chinese diaspora in Africa and also the other way around? Like, okay, so I don't do we really need to know um, the size of. The African diaspora, for example, in in China. Anyway, um, so I think it's an interesting move and a good one. Okay, we've seen we've seen Nigerian startups or African startups begin to build solutions that target the diaspora, and okay. I think it's smart. Um, the people back home are seeing their purchasing power dwindle. So it just makes sense for you to go to the people who have, hopefully, a little more purchasing power. Um, we know already that Nigeria, <coughs> Nigeria received about twenty billion in remittances last year, and so what Lemfa is basically doing, Nigeria alone, um, Africa had about a hundred billion. So what Lemfa is doing is basically plugging into, um, into one of those markets. We've seen them go into the US, into China, and into UK, into the UK. China is, I mean, on the outside, I think it's kind of obvious okay. why you would enter China. Um, first, we've seen increased Chinese influence in Africa. Or we've, yeah, we've seen increased Chinese influence in Africa. Um, some of the largest, the, some of the largest um, mobile phone uh, manufacturers yes. are Chinese. Mm. Um, we've also seen African governments increasingly more comfortable with doing business um, with with the Chinese government or with Chinese businesses. So there's there's a green link. I mean, some people have already, uh, I mean, some some people in the West are already G three over that. But yeah, there's definitely something happening there. Okay. Um, we are doing a lot more business with them. More Chinese nationals are moving um, into Africa either as investors or to set up businesses. So there's definitely something there. Um, to the question about how many, the size of the Chinese diaspora in Africa, mm -hmm. some estimates put it between a million and two million people. So that is a sizable market, at least mm -hmm. for now. That could grow um, over the next few years. That could grow. And if it does grow, then that's that's a larger market that we could expect Lemfi to, um, to serve. Um, as for how many Nigerians or Africans, for example, are in China, I think it's probably a bit difficult to know the exact numbers, but I'm going to assume that it's roughly... Uh, okay, so if you have about a million, I'm just going to do a back of paper math, maybe mm -hmm. around 300,000 people, or maybe 200,000 people. We've seen Nigerians or Africans move there for education in particular, mm -hmm. and some of them end up staying back after after education. So... Yeah, there's a sizable market there that they are going after. But what I think they are probably looking at is the fact that we are doing a lot of business yes. with them. Mm. And it may not be your $100 every month that they are after. It could be the Nigerian businesses who have to do business with, with the Chinese guys and who have to send uh, money. Of course, remittance is different from cross-border payments anyway. So um, whether they decide to do cross-border payments at some point is it uh, yeah they could i think that's something they might they might be looking into but yes um it would be i think it's a good move generally I yeah think it's, it's, it's definitely a, it's definitely a good move because i mean in 2022 alone trade between nigeria and china was valued at around uh, 4.5 billion mm -hmm. right which i think i mean is a bit conservative i, don't know. I think this there are a lot of first of all you put you put your your economy <laughs> is in a very large economy okay. so let's start with that all right okay all right i agree with you so um if two company uh, two countries are doing that much when it comes to trades um i think it really puts lemfa in a position where they can not just profit from people that are sending money back home for school fees or 
send the money back home for, for parents yeah, to their parents. Yeah. It now puts them in that position to earn from people that are actually doing serious business and are sending really large sums of money. So, um, I mean, we're just talking about investors and what the Naira devaluation has been doing to businesses. So uh, maybe this is a technique by Lemfi to stay afloat, which I think will work really well. I mean, most of their business is not in Nigeria. Mm. So they really... Okay, My I mean, you're sending... By this also, yeah, they probably are not too affected. Mm. They have, um, I think, a good number of their... A good number of their team would be in Nigeria, okay. which is good. If you're not primarily serving the Nigerian market, for example, where a good number of your team is here, you have like a low-cost base. Um, so this might not be something that... I think is okay. So I think last year they they moved into Canada <coughs> and the UK. Um, they also acquired a they also acquired the fintech. Can't remember the name. Uh, I think an IMTO in 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 the UK, which is um, which is good. So this is I think it's just following that line. Yeah. They they just raised thirty eight million or so mm. last year. So you have enough money to to play. Um, <laughs> I don't know. This is. I mean, I think it's a good movie. Something is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, to not sound like I am a Lemfi fan, but <laughs> I think it's a good movie. Um, okay. Leave the Nigerian market, go to other markets, test yourself. I just remember and that. See what happens. Um, GIG Logistics also did something similar where they um, um, tried to open yes. up a, a, service yeah, a service center in China for people who need to send stuff back home um well i mean judge we've not really gotten an update on how that how that is going it's probably going really well and judge is not really known to reveal so many things about the operations but i think um it makes sense again going back to the amount of trade we do with china so yeah interesting stuff to listen to the full episode of this podcast visit podcast.techpoint.africa or search for Tech Africa podcast on your favorite podcast platforms.